London Makeup Artistry and welcome to my channel. Today I am bringing you my IMAX New York 2018 haul. <laughs> so if you like these types of videos go ahead and hit that like button and consider subscribing because I do hauls and makeup reviews and tutorials and swatches here on my channel every Saturday. IMATS is the International Makeup Artist Trade Show. It's a makeup convention for professionals in the makeup and beauty industry. Um, they have presentations, classes, exhibits, and makeup on sale at a discount. <laughs> so it's an annual event and they come to New York in April and this year was April 13th through the 15th. Friday the 13th was for makeup professionals and then Saturday and Sunday was for the rest of us. Last year I went to IMATS for the first time. I went by myself because my friend who was supposed to go with me flaked out on me but she came with me this year. She got it together. Esther G. Hey Esther. She came so I had some company this year which made it fun. More fun. I, I had fun last year. Don't get me wrong but I had fun this year too and I ended up it turns out I went on a day we went on Saturday the 14th and turns out we went on a day where a lot of a few other youtubers that I follow were also there um, Georgia Harris makeup struggles and Jen loves reviews were all there on Saturday and I didn't get to meet any of them <laughs> I didn't see any of them <laughs> but I did get to meet some folks um, I got to meet Anastasia Beverly Hills, the grand dame herself was there and she was taking selfies with people. She was nice and she looked fabulous. And I also got to meet Rennie Vasquez. He is a celebrity makeup artist who I've been following on Instagram for a few years. So it was nice to meet him, see him in person. And he's very nice as well. But for me, the person that I enjoyed meeting the most this year was a viewer by the name of Shantae. Hi Shantae! She said, she came up to me, she's like, London makeup artistry? I hear London makeup artistry? I'm like, Oh wait, that's me. <laughs> and she came over and she said hi. She said she had just been watching a video of mine that morning, which was awesome. Just, you guys don't even know. The fact that, that people are out there, that you guys are out there watching my videos is just, 
it's amazing. <laughs> and I asked her if she was following any of the shopping strategy from the IMATS video that I did that I will link up here. And she said, yes. <laughs> so we took a couple of photos. Mine is blurry. Unfortunately, the nice young man from Makeup Forever didn't know how to work my camera, so there you go but um shante it was great meeting you thanks for coming up and saying hello i hope you got a lot of great stuff i hope you had a great time and i hope you stayed under budget so i'm going to show you some things in no particular order um actually the first booth i went to this year was delium tools and this is the bag. Every place you go to, every booth you stop at, they give you a shopping bag, regardless of whether you buy something this small or something really big, <laughs> which I love because I love a good shopping bag. I love a tote bag. I love them all. I, I am a collector of bags because you never know when you're going to need one. So that didn't bother me at all. So at Delium Tools, the first time I ever shopped Delium Tools was last year at IMATS. I picked up some brushes. If you've seen my tutorials, you've seen these brushes. And I knew I wanted to pick up a few more of them this year. And once again, just as last year, they had 40% off, which I think was one of the best deals at IMATS again this year. So I picked up some brushes. And as I said, some of these brushes I already have, and then some of them are new to me. So I picked up two 772 eye brushes and these are really small um, flat shader brushes that I really like so I wanted to get more of those and then they also have a blending brush that looks very actually this is their most popular item um, the woman told me at Delian Tools and it's their 776 blending brush and it's very reminiscent of um, the Sigma E25 brush so the two 772 brushes the small brushes were six dollars a piece and these brushes were seven dollars a piece and I bought the same brushes these are 70 776s also um, but they're just in a different collection these are their newest collection that they have the um, blue handled brushes these brushes this set is beautiful and then I got another 77 brush I already have one of these this was six dollars as well and it's very similar to the 772 it's just um, a bit bigger and then, last but not least, I got a brush that I don't have, and this is the 941 Tapered Highlighting Brush, and I'm really excited about this brush. It's $8, um, and I'm interested to see how I like it. This is very soft though. This is what this one looks like. Very nice. I don't know if this is a combination of natural or and synthetic or all natural, but um, it's very soft. And so I'm definitely looking forward to using this for my highlight. And my friend asked about, you know, were they giving away anything, which I didn't think to ask. And so, yes, the lady did give us some little baby travel um, eyeliner brushes. So, you know, I'll probably never use them, but free is always nice. The first booth I went to was Delium Tools, and the second booth I went to was Anastasia Beverly Hills. <laughs> so I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you what I got from there. That was the longest line that I stood on that Saturday. I think, hands down, once again this year, the longest line at IMAS was for the Morphe booth. <laughs> Morphe. <laughs> this time, this year, Morphe was in the back of the facility because I, I guess they figured that line was gonna be outrageous once again this year, and it was. And once again this year, I did not stand on it. <laughs> So I went to Anastasia Beverly Hills and uh, that was the longest line I stood on because there was really, there was only one thing I wanted from them and 
that was the subculture eyeshadow palette i've been wanting this honestly i've been wanting this palette since it came out um i'm not gonna swatch it because at this point i mean we all know what it looks like <laughs> oops and we've all heard the stories about it and seen the tutorials um this palette was is the least popular of the Anastasia palettes. I think it's safe to say. And a lot of people have problems working with it. And I saw some tutorials even where some of the shadows looked like they didn't blend. And it was a whole big thing. And then Norvina came out and was like, oh, well, if you couldn't, didn't know how to use, if you didn't like it, it's because you didn't know how to use it. Which is like, girl, please. Okay, what, what? Um... But I like these colors. I couldn't help myself. I couldn't help myself. And after, after trying the Makeup Revolution Subculture Dupe Palette and being very underwhelmed with it because it was it lacked pigmentation, um, that just made me want this palette all the more. We shall see. Um, I'm. I want to form my own opinion and find out if I like it. I hope this palette is not as shitty as everybody says because I stood online for a long time to get it. And it was 30% off. I don't remember everything there it was 30% off, but this was 30% off. So it retails for $42 and I got it for $32, I believe. Um so, you know, I'm I'm I didn't pay full price for it. So if it's a crappy palette, I, at least I didn't pay full price for it. Also, I didn't go there for anything else, but one of the women was wearing this lip combination that was so pretty. And she said she was wearing a lip gloss on top of one of the lipsticks. I did want the um the highlighter brush. Uh, I think it's the A23 or A25 brush. Anyway, they didn't have it. So I ended up getting a lip gloss because the woman that worked there was wearing it over a liquid lipstick and it was so pretty. I hope you can see this. Oh, it's iridescent and on her, it did, she swatched it on her skin and it didn't look as purple as it looks on my skin. That's it right there. And this is in the shade Moon Jelly. So it looks white and with an iridescent like purple flash in the tube. And then when you apply it, it looks pretty much purple, lilac. But it's, it's very pretty. And so I'm looking forward to putting it over some different lipsticks this spring and summer. Because the line was so long, um, the staff there at ABH, they were giving out some freebies, which I thought was kind of nice. And so one of the things they were giving out was the Pro Pencil. It's an eyeshadow primer and color corrector. And this is what it looks like which is great i think because i um i will probably use this i'm definitely going to try it at least i like the shade of it i think it'll be great for priming the lid and for cutting a crease if you're into cutting creases <laughs> this is it right here and I like the color of it. This is the shade Base 2. So um, I will definitely be trying this out. I might even use it in my waterline as well. So um, like this, nice little freebie. And then they were also giving out makeup bags um, while on the line. I didn't get one of these initially, but when I went to check out, I saw them behind the counter, counter and I was like, oh, can I have one? And she said, sure. So look how beautiful that is. Isn't that beautiful? so gorgeous gorgeous it's got paper in it so this is ooh, this is what it looks like without the paper but look at that so nice I'm not sure what I'm going to use it for right now but I will because it's really big <laughs> But um, I will find I will find a use for it. Bioderma was there, and just like last year, I bought two of their their um, micellar waters, and I bought two last year, and I'm still I'm on my second bottle now. I just broke open my second bottle not too long ago, so they uh they last a long 
time. Um, I get this Sensibio H2O for sensitive skin and I love these micellar waters. They take off your all your makeup. I don't wear waterproof mascara so I can't speak on that but they take off everything else and they're gentle to the skin. It doesn't irritate my skin at all. It doesn't dry my skin out. And um, once again, I don't remember what the full price is for these, but they were uh, at IMS for $10 a piece. And if you bought two, you got a little travel mini one. So, of course, I bought two. <laughs> and then they give you some freebies. Uh, this is the bag, the little shopping bag. And um, I got some freebies, some gel cremes, uh, moisturizing lotions I guess that's what this is so yeah um so yeah these this is the micellar water that I always use and I prefer and then I went to Inglot oh let me show you the shopping bag this was the shopping bag that you got Kat, Kat Von D was a sponsor a platinum sponsor a diamond or platinum sponsor of the event so that is the bag you get when you go to IMATS. Isn't that nice? Love that. And then I went to um, Inglot. Let's talk about Inglot. I went to Inglot, my little bag from Inglot. Um, as you know, if you've been watching, if you've been following me, you know I recently picked up some single eyeshadows from Inglot. I did have some of their pigments before. So I bought some shadows and really, really liked them. I actually just posted a, I did a swatch video with them and then I just posted a, um, a tutorial with them, I think just last week. So I will put that here for you to check out. I really liked how they perform, so um, I knew I wanted to go this year and pick up a few more, and that is what I did. Forgive me if I keep looking up here, because I have to make sure my camera is on. I've been recording, I've been turning the camera on, and it's been shutting off at some point without me noticing it, and then I have, this is the third time I'm reshooting this section here, so. Please bear with me. Um, so I knew this year I wanted to um, try some of the Inglot Shimmer Shades eyeshadows. And when I swatched them at IMATS, they were not very impressive, but the colors were so pretty that um, I figured if I wet my brush, I would get more bang for my buck. So I thought I would try them and see if I liked them. Uh, they were having 30% off at Inglot, so these shadows are normally $7, and I got them for $5.50 each. And I'm going to show them to you for the third time. This will be the first time you're seeing them, but this will be the third time I'm swatching them. <laughs> and then I'm going to show you a close-up of them, okay? So um, Inglot has named has numbers not names for the shadow so this first one is number 297 and it is a matte this next one is number 288 and it is a lime green matte and for the shimmers I have number five and it is this teal teal blue shimmer very pretty and the next one is a pink shimmer it's number 164 i never feel like i have enough pink shadows in my collection so every time i see one that i like i grab it and then the last shimmer is number 158 and it's like um it's hard to to describe it's like a, a pewter gray maybe with blue and then the last one was supposed to be an orange matte eyeshadow, but I didn't realize that the woman gave me a, uh, a matte lipstick. And this is number 506, which I'll never use because I don't like pan lipstick. I like um, bullet lipsticks, but this smells like candy. It smells really good. And here are the swatches. This shade right here, beautiful matte shade, so pretty. And as I said, the shimmers, they don't, they're not that impressive, but um, I'm looking forward to trying them out. I think they'll be really pretty if I, uh, if I wet them.
Okay, so hopefully that's the last time I've got to swatch this. I see the camera is still on, so let's keep going. Um, I went to Makeup Forever and um, I had some eyeshadows on my list that I wanted to get. They recently changed their formula, so I don't know. And they also changed the uh, packaging, the shape of the shadows. They used to be big and round, and now they are square, rectangular square like the Inglot. Um, you still get a lot of product. I don't know if you get the same amount. doesn't look like it, but you still get more than, the, than average. And I bought all matte shades because I don't like Makeup Forever shimmer shades. So I got all mattes. And one of them, this one here, was not on my list to get. But I saw it there and I thought it was really pretty. So I got it. So just like with the Inglot, I'm going to show you the shades. And then I will show you a close-up of the swatches. This is number M58. Love, love, love the color of this. So bright, so pretty. This next one is M742. And it is a matte orange, so I didn't get it from Inglot. I ended up, ended up getting one from Makeup Forever. And then this is a beautiful purple, M924. I don't know, I just can't get enough of purple eyeshadows. I really need to stop buying them. I think I have enough at this point, but I can't help myself. And then last but not least, this was not on my list, but I saw it at the show. This is M928. Another like plum purple shade that I know I have in my collection already, but. And these are the, the shades swatched. And they're all so, so pretty. And I'm looking forward to playing with them. And then I got something from uh, Makeup Forever that was not on my list that I definitely don't need and that I regret buying. I don't know why I bought it, but this is one of their magnetic empty palettes. Um, it was $20. You know, they changed these as well. Um, I, they made them smaller and they, they jacked up the price <laughs> and they made it... Um, it's still 10, this doesn't feel sturdy, but this still feels sturdy, like a 10, like it used to be. And then they made it so that you can see the eyeshadows um, in them. And this is the, I don't think this is, this might be the biggest one, or the second to largest one. This might be the largest, second to largest one. Anyway, and the woman said that um, it'll fit more eyeshadows than the big 10 that I have already. And I guess that's because they made them smaller and they made them this shape so I don't really need another tin but I guess I will use it I will um, I will put my Inglot shadows and my makeup forever shadows even the old ones in here along with it all right so I only have a, a few more items and then we're all done here <laughs> so I went to Mac and uh, this was the bag at MAC, which is very nice. Adore you, reward you. So this is the, the tote from MAC. Nice bag, nice bag. I like a nice tote bag. And all I got was two liquid lipsticks from them, <laughs> which was actually, I wanted to get one liquid lipstick and a halo gloss lip gloss but they didn't have any of those lip glosses so um, I ended up getting two liquid lipsticks one which was on my list and one which was not uh, the one that was on my list was the color oh no this was not on my list this one was the one on my list and it is number 128 crowned and it is just a um, I, I hope you can see this it's like this pearlized maroon color very pretty when it dries it looks a little tiny bit metallic maybe just a smidget look how gorgeous that is the first time i ever tried the mac liquid lipstick formula was at imats last year and immediately this is gonna be a big swatch immediately fell in love with it oh my gosh i love the MAC liquid lipstick formula if you haven't tried it you really should and then I got another one this wasn't on my list but um I saw it and I was like ooh, ooh, and I almost didn't buy it and my friend was like 
you should get it. If you don't get it, I'm going to buy it. I was like, okay, okay, wait, wait, I'm, I'm going to get it, I'm going to get it. Uh, <laughs> so, and this is in the color um, Atomize. And look at that. I don't know if you can see this either, but it's it's also got this like little shimmer in it as well. It's so gorgeous. And it too, when it dries, uh, I hope I remember to show it to you guys again when it dries. When it dries, it's just like a nice purpley fuchsia type shade, but when it dries, it, it looks also a little metallic. So if you hear um, meowing, that's my cat Spunky. He's having a fit as usual. Um, and these are the shades. This is crowned. Yes. <laughs> this is crowned and this one is atomized. And when they dry, they look a little metallic. They're very very pretty. So this one I can see myself wearing in the fall and winter and this one I will be rocking um, this spring and summer. And that was all from MAC. MAC once again was 30% off. So I think um, these were like $14 I think maybe $14, $15. They're normally like uh, $21. And then I went to the Lip Bar, had a booth. Wasn't planning to go there. The Lip Bar is an indie brand. Um, it's black owned, black female owned, and the owner was there. We got to meet her, got to talk to her, and got to swatch some of her products. I wasn't planning, I think all they have right now were lip products, liquid lipsticks and regular lipsticks. That's that's all I remember seeing anyway. And um, they recently just announced that they're going to be in Target. So, brava, brava. And I wasn't planning on purchasing anything, but you know, it's black owned, it's indie, and I like to support. So, and I've heard of them before though. And this is the packaging. This is one of the liquid lipsticks. I got this hot pink, which I don't normally go for, but I don't know, something about pink this, this year. I'm just feeling it. So this is the, um, this is the packaging, which is really cute. It's really small. I like the, this right here, the top of it, really cute. And uh, it looks really tiny, but according to the owner, she says that you get more product than um, what you typically, typically get in liquid lipsticks. Um, I forget what she said you normally get, but this is, I think, like 7.1 milliliters or something, which is more than the usual. And um, I got this in the color, I think this is the color Daymate, Playmate. I'll tell you, you get old and your eyesight is the first thing to go. <laughs> this is in the color Playmate. <laughs> and this is it right here. Now these are the, um, the MAC liquid lipsticks that are mostly dry. For the most part, they're dry. Very pretty. And I don't know if you can see, but they do have a little bit of metallic metallicism <laughs> to them I, I don't know if that's a word or not but and then this is the lip bar playmate which is like this hot pink color which is really pretty I don't normally do colors like this on my lips but I don't know I was feeling adventurous I did <laughs> Put this on later in the evening just to check it out you know you're going through your loot and uh, so I did put it on to try it and boy these are all vegan I believe all of her stuff is vegan and cruelty free and I put this on my lips and it dried fairly quickly and uh, boy did it dry it dried up it, every crack crevice line in my lip you could see now I normally wear lip balm underneath everything I didn't have a lip balm on when I tried this because I was just trying it on I wasn't wearing it but Lord of mercy did it not dry up and dry up my lips along with it and I believe I also experienced some crumbling as well so uh, my friend actually wore it and she had the same experience 
dry, 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 dry. <laughs> it showed every crack and crevice in her lip and also crumbled. She said she ended up having to put a lip gloss on top of it because it was so uncomfortable. So I'm on the last thing here. Um, I went to Alcone and this is the little bag you get with Alcone. Very cute, very cute. This was the same company that I believe that was selling Viseart palettes last year. Um, but by the time I figured that out and stumbled across them, the palettes that I wanted, the eyeshadow palettes that I wanted were sold out. So I stumbled across them again this year. And um, I did have on my list uh, Viseart blush palettes that I wanted to check out and maybe purchase and they did have the blush palettes I think there's two of them and anyway this is the box for it I got the blush palette the number three this is what it looks like the number three orange violet and the discount there was 20% off and just like the 12 pan eyeshadow palettes that are $80 these two were $80 so I got them with tax I got it for $65 and it's really crazy because I didn't even swatch it at the show because I'm just like oh their matte eyeshadows are bomb so I'm sure the blush palette is bomb too $65 not even swatch was I on something I must have been anyway so I just like the colors which is also interesting because I don't really like orange <laughs> <laughs> on my cheeks and then I go and buy a $65 palette that has orange blush shades in it <laughs> yeah I was on something anyway so this is <laughs> this is the blush palette this is what it looks like this row right here and I have um, shades already in blush that color but I don't know what to tell y'all I got a problem anyway so <laughs> And then I thought, you know, I could try the orange. Orange looks so pretty on darker skinned women. I don't know why I can't get into it, but I'm going to try it again. And these are the swatches. So that's the plum side. And that is the orange side. And yeah, so I, I hope I like these. <laughs> At worst, maybe I can use them as eyeshadows if they don't work out as blushes. <laughs> oh, and I almost forgot. Actually, I did forget and I just remembered. There was one more thing that I got. Um, I didn't get it at eye mask because it wasn't there. I went to Glamcore and Glamcore is a uh, makeup company that sells professional vanities, lighted vanities, mirrors, and um, professional lighting. And I'm looking at that because my camera just shut off again. So uh, so we stumbled across it and they had some of the mirrors there on display. And they have one called the, the Ricky Skinny Mirror. And um, I've been wanting to do short tutorials on Instagram but didn't know how to do that with my camera set up. And so this mirror actually has an attachment where you can attach your phone and you can record while you're doing your makeup. And I thought that was pretty cool. I still wasn't committed to getting it but um, Lauren who um, I believe she's like the director of customer service or something she was there she gave us her card they were sold out of it there um, at the show she gave us her card and she said drop her an email and she could offer a discount to us so I did I did um, left the show and I think you know the following week I um I emailed her and it turns out she could offer 20% off the mirror. The mirror is $195 and of course it was out of stock online too. <laughs> so they had another one that was limited edition in gold for the same price but then they had a rose gold which is really more like a rose colored one. Same mirror, um, limited edition but it was $5 more. So of course I got the more expensive one. I got the 20% off so it came to um, rather than like $213 which is what it would have come to it came to $173 so they are it has been shipped so it's in route to getting to me so that's why I don't have it to show you but I just wanted to tell you about it I'm thinking about doing an unboxing when I get it I'm not sure if you'd be interested if you would be just like this video um and then once I get it, I'll do an unboxing and I'll show it to you and, you know, and, and you can see what I'm talking about. So, okay. <sighs> okay. 
Okay, that really is it. <laughs> so if you stayed this long, I wanna thank you. I know this video was long, but I like to include swatches. I hate when people do haul videos and they show you all the stuff and then they don't swatch anything. It drives me crazy. So um, I wanted to make sure I swatch things for you. If you'd like to see a follow-up on any of these things, please hit the like button and uh, thumbs up this video and that will tell me that you are interested. Um, I've got a lot of new makeup, particularly a lot of new eyeshadow that I'm, I'm really Really super excited to try and use and play with and so I'll probably be um, bringing you some tutorials of that um, if you want to see that let me know <laughs> but that's probably what I'm going to be doing more of going forward I did a video about makeup addiction my makeup addiction uh, my unhealthy relationship with makeup <laughs> Uh, a while back and I'm going to be doing an updated video I'm going to be checking in with you every now and again to let you know how that's going um, because I did a, the video because I wanted to make myself more accountable for sticking with this goal of spending less money on makeup and so um, I've been using I've been doing some things to try to combat this impulse shopping that I do when it comes to makeup I see an eyeshadow palette, palette or lipstick I'm like ah! and I just you know so there are been there are some things I've been doing to try to um, stop from doing that and I wanted to share that with you so if you're interested in any if in that video or anything else that I've mentioned please go ahead and consider hitting the subscribe button um, and hit the notification bell because even if you are subscribed to my videos YouTube doesn't show every video even if you're subscribed um, so to in order to be sure you see them all you really need to hit that little bell and you needn't worry about me uh, flooding your uh, your subscription feed with videos because I only do videos once a week and that's a, on Saturday every now and again when I'm feeling a little more ambitious I'll drop a bonus one on you on a Wednesday but for the most part um, I only do videos on a Saturday so you'll only get one notification from me per week so all right that is it <laughs> um, I want to thank you for joining me this this week if you got any value or if you liked anything in this video please go ahead and hit the like button I hope to see you again next week. Until then, bye-bye.